I dabbled with a bit of judo growing up. Um, I was always into sport though. I was a big football player. Any sport, I was into skateboarding, rollerblading, you know, I loved football. Well, in America you say soccer, right? <laughs> After all that, I was very much into um, the gym, like lifting weights. And when I was 21, actually, before I discovered jiu-jitsu, I, I got into marathon running. So I actually did a marathon in Amsterdam. I was always into physical challenges, but I discovered jiu-jitsu when I finished university. Uh, when I was 23 actually, so kind of old. I'm 34 now, so this is 11 years ago. And I left university confused about what I wanted to do, so this was the first time I saw UFC on TV. I did get a job in London at the time. I was doing some admin work behind a desk. <laughs> um, it, well, I was not enjoying life at all, but I discovered jiu-jitsu and I started training jiu-jitsu pretty much full time before and after work like twice a day. And I was doing this for all the way up until when I was a good level blue belt, then I actually had an accident. You know, I actually dislocated my arm in one training session one day. And because of that, that accident, I had nothing to do. I couldn't work, I couldn't train jiu-jitsu. So I actually picked up a video camera and started filming training, you know, just to keep my mind occupied and to kind of stay involved in the sport because I love jiu-jitsu so much. It was just a normal basic video camera and I downloaded Final Cut Pro from the internet, started messing around with the editing and I basically got self-taught from that. So that accident was kind of a blessing in disguise. After making a bunch of highlight videos of the gym, of the, you know, my teammates competing at tournaments, a friend of mine was getting married at the gym and he asked me to film his wedding. He would said he would pay me 300 pounds to film his wedding. I was like, great, 300 pounds. And I went along, filmed his wedding with this cheap video camera, made a highlight of the wedding event and I showed it to the photographer of the event. And she was really impressed with it. And she ended up offering me a few jobs and paid me a thousand pound to film wedding and she gave me two. So after two weeks of uh, work, I got 2000 pounds. So with that money, I bought an even better video camera. From there, I ended up filming seminars of Ryan Hall, Gunnar Nelson, Jeff Monson, and it just kind of went from there. It all kind of happened by accident. I never intended to become, you know, like this jiu-jitsu video filmmaker. It just kind of happened and yeah, I just kind of rolled with it. It was just like a domino effect, you know? I got my black belt in, I think it was September or October 2015. So yeah, now it's 2000. So this is about three years ago now. And to be honest, it's only in the last year I feel like I am like a black belt, you know. I've really set, settled into it. When I first got it, <laughs> I didn't want it, you know. I, I felt the pressure. And uh, it took me a while to get the confidence to compete at black belt. This was only a year ago, to be honest. So yeah, I think I got my black belt in, it must be maybe seven years it took me. Originally, I wanted to be a, a jiu-jitsu champion. That was what my goal. But through the, the dislocation and a broken foot, I've had a lot of unfortunate injuries, you know, in my jiu-jitsu career, which always kind of led me back to the filmmaking. You know, I actually prefer training and teaching than making films, but whenever I get injured, I go back to making the films. No really secret in being good at jiu-jitsu, you know, it's just showing up. You just have to show up to every single class and you don't want to have too much information. A lot of people sometimes, they just want to know everything all at once, but it's just take your time, just keep showing up and learn the basics. You you know, I see a lot of people turning up with the beginners, but they want to learn all the fancy moves, the bear and bowlers first, and you know, the reverse X card and the heel hooks. But you need to get the basics first. You need the foundations before you move on to uh, the more flashy techniques. We're going for our first one here, but you're going to you're going to quickly defend by basing out on your left leg. Yeah, there. So I'm trying to take her over, but she's basing. Underhook, switch. Get to here. Okay. So I don't want it to stabilize. That's why I stretch out right away. See, I'm holding her knee. And I don't want her to put her left foot on the ground. So I'm putting them here. Now look, I just push, push, push. Take his arm off the ground. So you're here. So you want to get right underneath here. Now look, I push. There, okay. Now look, I stretch my legs. See, I come up with my left forearm here. I love my toes go right underneath. Just push, push, push. Ryan Diaz, who owns this gym, I actually met him in Thailand in 2012. I was teaching and training at Tiger Muay Thai at the time and making videos for them. And Ryan was still an active MMA fighter at this time, fighting in one championship. 
So he came over to Tiger Muay Thai to uh, train for one of his fights and that's where we met. Two years after that, I think he may have retired a couple years after that. We always st kind of stayed in touch online through social media. I ended up teaching in Singapore at Evolve MMA and then ended up back at Tiger Muay Thai a year and a half ago. And then Ryan actually turned up in the gym. I hadn't seen him for so many years. I followed him. I saw that he had a new gym in Vancouver and it was very successful and it's only been here four years. He showed up at Tiger Muay Thai and they, he just offered me he said hey why don't you come out to Vancouver you know see if you like it so he offered uh, for me to come out for a month and teach here to see if I like the city if I like the gym I like the people and so it was last April I came here for four weeks and I really enjoyed myself and here I have a chance to actually set up my own team Stuart Cooper Jiu Jitsu and I'm closer to the US so I can compete a lot more and fortunately in Asia there's not many opportunities to compete in Jiu Jitsu especially at a high level and also being closer to the US, I can make more jiu-jitsu films, you know, with the, the big name athletes. So, what I need to do is I need to move in and get to shin on shin guard here, okay? And hug the leg. So, again, I don't want him to get... Worst thing here, he's gonna... See, so he gets an underhook, and now he's gonna fly me out, maybe knee slide past the guard, okay? So I have to be tight against his leg. So look, I'm here, I move in, shin on shin, I, my knees flared to the outside. Hug the leg here. Okay, so now I'm gonna just fall to my right shoulder. So as I fall to my right, look, his leg opens here. So now I pull his leg in and my hips come up, we're right back to here again. 